blocks. Uh, here we are having four different blocks. One is MUX, second one is even parity generator, third one is parity checker, and then we have even chip register object. So this is a connection diagram. This is connecting diagram. So the same connection we will do here. First leftmost bit of MUX is given to 0. So actually this is ground. All these four pins are related to ground means 0. And these four pins are related to 1 means plus 5 volt means 1. So first bit I given it to 0. And the same bit I am giving it to input of parity, given parity generator. Okay. Now I will connect second input. Second input I feel it is connected, you can observe here, second input is connected to 1. So I will take in the same way, second input connecting it to 1 and I will take the same input once again to given parity generator. Third input I will take, it is connected to So, same input I will give it to 0 once again and here I will give it to third point. Fourth input I will give it to 1 once again because as per procedure two inputs are given to uh, 1 and two inputs are given to 0. So, the fourth input is to here and you can observe for parity generator there are only four inputs edge of which uh, I am not concentrating on fifth input. Okay. So then, as we have given some input to MUX and parity uh, generator, there are some output coming out of this MUX also and this parity generator also. What to deal with them? Output of this MUX is connected to input of the shift register and output of this parity generator is connected to fifth pin of the MUX. Next, so your output is coming here now, okay, so this MUX is acting like parallel to serial converter, okay. Now, these LSBs, once again, I give it to this LSB, now I am dealing with parity checker, okay. So the second input, I will be giving you to second, and uh, uh, what do you think, only five inputs are there because MUX input is one. This is a third. Fourth, and this one is the fifth. Okay. Now, connection for this uh, parity checker uh, and parity generator matrix are over. Uh, now, we have to deal with how exactly this uh, error detection is happening. Okay. To understand that, uh, first initially make sure that all these uh, toggle switches. So these are all toggle switches. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because these toggle switches only given to parity checker. Okay. So, here what exactly happens, you know, but whenever any any one of the toggle switch is down, means you are introducing one bit error. You are intentionally introducing one bit error and at that time this should glow. Otherwise, it should not glow. And you may ask, sir, what is the logic behind it? So, actually, what is parity? One parity generator in the given sequence, in the given input sequence, if there are even number of ones, its output is zero. In the given input sequence, if there are odd number of ones, then output is one. Okay, as of which, as of which, what we have given the input? We have given one zero one zero or zero one zero one. You can say. So two in two ones are there. Correct? As there are two ones are there, my parity checker should go zero, right? If the number of ones goes to odd, then it should go to high, because odd number is represented by uh, LED one that is high, odd parity, right? Then LED will glow. So right now you see all are uh, zeros, so means uh, in in the material also it is given that this upper position is to say no error 
and lower position it will say what it will say it is in error one bit error you can see no issue okay so now if all are upper side all these are called as toggle switches huh? if the toggle switches are upper side then no error actually okay shall i shall i uh, if if i want to introduce one bit error then i can make it down okay so shall we go for uh, operation let us see you can see here all toggles are upper side what does it implies no error that's what led is not glowing if you want to introduce a one bit error so you can introduce at that time led will glow and it will say the in given input and supplied uh, shift register inputs are different one bit are getting error okay okay in in the same way you can go for any other one bit also any other one bit also you can see you can observe any other one bit also it is showing okay so you, you may ask some questions like sir shall i get do it two bits then it will go once again even it will show once again is it clear yes 